All right. So again, this is a type of landscape, right? It's talking about something with a path around it. Okay. This particular one is a pool. All right. So a pool measuring 10 by 20. All right. So 10 by 20. So the diagram, I give it to you, but chances are you're going to have to draw this. So we're going to, even though it's there, I'm going to show you how to draw it. All right. If it says a pool measuring 10 by 20 is surrounded by a path of uniform width. Okay. So we like the uniform width. So if you were not given the picture, I would start by drawing a 10 by 20 meter pool. So there's 10 by 20. All right. And it's surrounded by a path of uniform width, which means surrounded means it's around all, all of it. Okay. So you would draw that from the very first sentence. All right. Now, if I keep reading, if the area of the pool and the path combined is 600 square meters, what is the width of the path? Most of the time, the question is always going to be what you're going to define X as being, all right? So what is the width of the path? I'm going to let X equal the width of the path so that I can continue to label my diagram. All right, now it's a uniform width and I don't know what the width is because it's asking for the width. All right, and I may even do this. Let's kind of color code this. All right, so that means from here to here is X. And from here to here is X because it's got to be the same width all the way across. All right, now what that does for me, I put it here so that we could kind of see the distance all the way across. All right, 20 plus X plus X will be the distance all the way across. So the distance all the way across is going to be a 20 plus 2X. And I set it next to, I did my X's right there horizontally with that 20 meters. So it's just really easy to look straight across and see what it is. Okay, now I want to do, I got to have a uniform path all the way around, right? So from here to here is X. The distance from here to here is also X. All right, my 10 is over here. I'm going to rewrite it over here just so we can see it. It's a rectangle. All right, so the distance here, 10 plus X plus X. So going straight up and down there, the entire distance of this side is 10 plus 2X. All right, now let's keep going here. All right, it says if the area of the pool and the path combined is 600 meters. All right, so they had that's where we're going to come up with our equation. If the area of the pool and the path combined is 600 square meters, all right. So let's write down area of pool and path, and that's got to be equal to 600. Area of the pool and the path. All right, well, here's the pool and the path, which basically means what? I need, it's a rectangle, I need outside dimensions. So that's why I went ahead and found this length here, I went ahead and found this width here. Because if I want the area of the pool and path, length times width, I have to know those distances. Okay, so it's basically going to 20 plus 2x times 10 plus 2x. And that's going to equal 600 because they gave me the 600 in the story problem. All right, so on this one, you have to come up with the equation, all right? You have to come up with the equation, which makes it a little bit more challenging. All right, on this side over here, we just have a nice, simple little foil, okay? So we'll foil that out. 20 times 10 is 200. 
All right, if I show all the steps 20 times uh, 2 is going to, 2x there is going to be a 40x. 10 times that 2x will be a 20x. 2x times 2x will be a 4x squared and then equals to 600. That's just boiling that out and showing all steps. All right, now these two are like terms, so I'm going to put them together. All right, I generally like to factor with my x squared term first, then my x term, and then my numbers. So when I rewrite this next step, I'm going to automatically put the 4x squared in front just because I like it there. All right. I'm going to add these two terms, which will give me a 60x. All right. And then I've got to do what? i got to subtract 600 from both sides because I've got to have the darn thing set equal to six, 0. So I subtract 600 from both sides. That's going to give me a minus 400. And now because I chose to rewrite the the things in the order that I knew I wanted them, since it's a quadratic, it's going to be a whole lot easier to factor at this point. All right, so I will look for a greatest common factor always. Looks like greatest common factor on this one's going to be a 4. So then I'll have an x squared, and then I'm going to have a plus 15x, and then minus 100. All right, the 4 just stays there. It doesn't do anything. I'm going to factor that trinomial on the inside, an x and an x. No, uh, probably 20 times 5, so 20 here, 5 here. I need a positive 15, so that means the 20 has got to be the positive one. This has got to be the negative one. All right, and then again, we set everything equal to 0, but here is a plain number. So again, we've got that plain number being set equal to 0, which we know is a false statement, gives us nothing. All right, this gives me an x equals a 5. This one gives me an x equals a negative 20. All right, I'm wanting a width. Widths can't be negative. So again, we're throwing this one out. We're throwing this one out, which leaves us with this one. Okay, so uh, let's see. I guess this one is in meters as well. All right, so then the width of the path is going to be five meters. Okay, width of path. 